Hello everyone and welcome back to Juno New Origins where we've had an update. It is now version 1.0.9 point something and they have upgraded to a new version of Unity there. Uh, we have map view improvements, lots of map view improvements it looks like and UI improvements and bug fixes and career rebalancing and more UI tweaks and bug fixes and then the 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4 patches there. So we have improvements and with all the map view fixes it's probably a good time to turn back to space stuff because with the cars and the planes we don't really do much as far as you know plotting stuff with the map view so we won't get to enjoy it unless we tackle some space missions. Uh, well there's this Tittos flyby. Um, I forget whether 750 days is enough but we can try that. Uh, but we should wait until the window. So let me see. Um, resume flight. Well, we don't have many flights, do we? We'll resume this Z car. I don't know what state it's in. And then try and time warp to where Tidos. We can have a good Tidos transfer. Oh, I don't care if it's rolling down the slope. Okay, so. Tidos is there. About a 96-ish degree angle should probably do the trick here. Can we recover craft? I guess we'll recover craft. Okay. So now, are you still there? It's not still there. <laughs> well, of course not. Uh, there's too many of these and too little space things. Let me try and ref uh, refresh contracts. Uh, well, okay, fine. So we can't get the Tittos thing, even though we're at the right window now. So I guess TT landing, at least it doesn't require a particular window, even though, you know, retrograde and everything. But uh, it actually pays better, so I guess that's all right. But maybe we're not going to be testing the full capabilities of map view yet. We'll see. So TT landing, we haven't done that yet. And we should aim for one of those places that give us extra tech points. Let me cook up a lander craft and see what we can do. So the key to any craft is making sure that your dead weight is as small as possible and mainly that is the probe core. And so we're making that very small and we'll make a really small lander. I think uh, we want it stubby and short. We'll see. Uh, I definitely want soul panels on the top face but we can't make them any smaller than that. Yeah, that sort of thing will do. Peak power, 45 watts. And this one doesn't even consume power, apparently. Interesting. Well, we can put a small mod propellant tank on top of it, maybe. 4.2 kilogram mod propellant tank. Ion engine. I just wonder about what the properties of the ion engine are. Now obviously power consumption is huge and we're not going to be able to supply that with these. 9000 seconds though, that's way better than most ion thrusters. And 6 newtons. I mean it could be worse. So this automatically set itself to xenon and gave us 29.5 kilometers per second. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I'm not going to have the patience for this, but yeah, interesting, interesting. That's a really high ISP ion engine. So we know that Carolox is the thing to use. I think this is too big, this pressure fed one. Wait a second. Oh, there's no fuel in this tank. That's why. Aha. Okay. Okay. Well, that's about right. That'll be a good enough thrust weight ratio, I think. Okay, got the standard set of RCS ports on. Probably a little bit too powerful. Eh, let's just go with the usual 25. I hope the landing gear doesn't get in the way of the inner stage here. Gas generator engine, probably still Carolox. We'll be fine. I think that's a pretty good situation actually. 
Um, I didn't want it to look like that, but if it's going to look like that, that's fine, I suppose. We're not going to keep to the village runway, I don't think. Otherwise, I'd have made the payload a complete pancake. But, yeah, I think we'll just uh, keep it simple here. And I did want the little RCS thrusters from the payload. Wait, hemisphere tanks. Uh, but the hemisphere tanks don't seem to surface attach. Oh, they yeah, they only want to attach to nodes. They don't want to surface attach to things. So, can't use the hemisphere tanks. Have to stick to the cylindrical tanks. Okay, because that stage might be used for a transfer. And so we'll need the RCS so that we can orient ourselves for that transfer. Since I'm not using reaction wheels again. Let me just double check. We don't have any reaction wheel in there, do we? No, we do not. Or gyros. I thought we had gas generator too, but apparently not. It's a $1 million rocket right now. CH combustion makes it more expensive, but then we can make it smaller too. And it's just 1.4 million there. That's probably worth it for the stage combustion. Alpha seems like a nice nozzle. Expensive though. Space shuttle nozzle. No need to worry about batteries for them. 1.9 million doesn't seem too bad. All stages give 8.6 kilometers per second. So, that's probably alright. We have to make a landing at TT though. I guess we have to launch retrograde right away. Yeah. Okay, suppose we should paint the rocket. Orange. <laughs> Uh, gauge color, uh, let's see. Emission, we, we know that should be less. Details, we don't need too much detail. Um, orange, and I hear orange and purple go together. Oh, no, no, let's keep that one. I mean, that's what they say. It looks like a paintbrush with purple paint on it, I think. I think. Well, we don't want to get into brown, so you definitely want an orange. Right. Well, this thing probably shouldn't be launched. Let's go for it. Well, we can't use the village runway. We're too tall. So, Alipad it is. Have I forgotten something? In my haste? I do not know. Land on TT. Deadline 90 days. Well, we better get started then. So, that on. Uh, RCS off. And looks pretty stable. Let's find out. Launch. Uh, well, throttle up, please. Okay, so we want to go retro. West. It probably doesn't matter too much. We can correct that apoapsis without too much trouble. But huh, I was using the keyboard because I forgot that this program is actually joystick compatible unlike a certain other program. <laughs> no, I can use my joystick here. Oh, that's a lot of apoapsis already. Our purple nose is heating up there. It's getting more orange. Oh, well, we don't need to go so high. Anyway, uh, separation. Well, okay, that's fine. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. We can wait. We'll just wait till lap lapses. Okay, making orbit. And... Oh, that's probably good enough. Alright, we have 1.35 kilometers per second, which... So let's see. There's the new font. A new, very clearly readable font. Oops, I zoom zoomed out too much. So, if we want to go out to TT, we should go over here. Oh, great. Luna's interfering. Okay, looks... Oh, wait. Uh, uh. Uh, we've got a lot of inclination there. 
Uh, it's not too bad overall. But yeah. Uh, maybe we should do an offplane transfer and hit it. Come back. There we go. We have an encounter. We'll need 451 when we get there. The lander has plenty. Lander has plenty. This burn is going to cost 1.34. And how much do we have? 1.35. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. No problems. You will have to forgive me. I will, as usual, do the burn manually. Burn time 62 seconds. I will lock that. Let's pin this so I can see it here. Okay, go. Oh, we can adjust with the RCS. Okay, that'll do for now. Let's see what happened. Okay, RCS is already on. And there we go. Uh, well, I'll take that for now. We'll adjust when we get closer. Got an encounter. Um, how's our power? Uh, our battery is diminishing though. Hopefully that will lead us to recharge. Uh, probably also, wow, it threw us our approach completely. <laughs> okay, well, that's not too unexpected. That's why I don't want it to be too vigorous. Let's see. That's probably close enough. Are we recharging, though? Possibly, let's see. Uh, it's diminishing still. We need all our solar panels added. Okay, that doesn't ruin our approach too much, and hopefully we are recharging now, otherwise we're in big trouble. Yeah, okay, we've got charge. We have charge coming in, but we should improve our approach to it. I should have some inclination over TT so that we can pick our landing spot. Okay, we will time warp to this maneuver. One second burn time. Not exactly. Uh, okay, well, it went right past the maneuver node. Did we use up all our mod propellant in here? I guess we used up all the mod propellant in the stage, that's why. Okay, you know what, let's just dump this stage. We shouldn't have used all the mod, mod propellant in here, right? Please? Uh, it does say so. I thought we had separate mop propellant in here. It has a top tank, or had a top tank with it. I didn't think it would drain... Uh, previously, it didn't drain all the tanks at once, but it looks like it did drain the top tank. It's fine and all. We can use the engine to steer and everything, but... Just unfortunate. Okay, that should be good enough. Yeah, 91 kilometers will be fine. Okay, let's head over to TTSOI. Okay, there it is. And we can probably just get over to Periapsis. Okay. Well, we want retrograde, but we'll need to light the engine to turn. And we'll want to land somewhere on the opposite side with sun and everything. Our thrust rate ratio locally is apparently 180. <laughs> I would rather have had the RCS thrusters, we could just land with those. Okay, let's try that. Touchdown safely. Okay, we got some flag locations. How quickly does TT rotate? Pretty quickly. And those two are going away, but they might come back by the time we get down there. We could probably force the issue. Our battery is a little bit low. 
I don't want to spend too much time on the night side, so let's bring our orbit down more. Oh, that might be a little bit close there. Oh, I think it's clipping that bulge, yeah. Let's see. Okay. I could probably just... We've got 1.75 kilometers per second. We can do anything. Maybe we can try for both. I guess there's only two on TT. One's called T, the other's called T, I guess, maybe. Oh, we went too fast. Gosh darn it. I lost my opportunity. I was time warping more than I thought. Uh, shoot. Okay, forget that one. No, we have to do something even more drastic. Okay, one quarter time. <laughs> so much for in line, but it doesn't matter. Once we land, we're taking off again. We can figure it out. Okay, something like that. I'll probably rotate in the meantime, though, so we'll have to watch out for that. Um, okay, let's try that for starters and then adjust. Yeah, this sort of seems better than I plotted. Okay. Let's see, we might have to adjust here. Yeah, yeah, we will. Okay, basically. Right. So. Where is it? <laughs> is that it? Is that the spot? Okay, somewhere over here is where we have to land. Is it there? Uh... Uh-oh. Hmm, stability isn't working. Uh... Yeah, stability isn't working. Okay. I don't know. I tried to control things, but it didn't seem to be working right. Uh, whoa. Yeah. I don't understand what's going on. Did I have the wrong control scheme with this? I don't know. Well, I'm just going to keep it locked on retrograde so we can land. I don't know if I can land that, that flag. Because um, something's weird with the way my joystick is working with the game right now. Okay, well, we've cut most velocity. Me, it doesn't like having no RCS. Wasn't grumbling before. Also, aren't we supposed to see a little bubble where the flag is? Somewhere in this crater. But I just don't see it anywhere. Ragnarok. Is that... Is that what that is? Let me... Okay, Ragnarok is what it is. It's over there. But again, I'm having trouble with orientation, so I don't know if I can make it over there. Once we land, I'll check my control scheme, but at least we need to finish up the contract. It's a bit of a slope though. Then again, this doesn't have much gravity. Okay, well we landed. One of TT landings. Okay, it's flopping. You didn't need to do that. <laughs> but it's riding itself again, and it's flopping. Hey, can we roll to Ragnarok? That seems appropriate somehow. Okay, well... I guess me trying to gimbal the engine is not the best thing for it. Oh... It just spins a lot when I do that. Well, we're spinning the right way, it's fine. Lock down, lock up, lock up. If you can. Okay. Can you point at target? Okay, lock up. Looks like I have to do it like this now. 
It's in it's it's here, right? It's not like beyond that. I have no idea what that is. Is there really something there? I don't even know how close we're supposed to get. I don't get it. What is what's supposed to be there? And how close are we supposed to get? This seems much more precise than anything else we've done. Maybe we have to be right over there too. Well, we'll probably tumble in anyway. Oh, we, we visited the landmark. 100 tech points. Okay, you counted this. But technically Ragnarok is down in there. I think. Is there a model or something? I, I think it's just the location. Okay, well, lock up. Uh, right. So which one is this one? That? I can't pronounce that. But we'll target it. Well, for now, that's a Thalens like trajectory. Well, let's make sure we're pointed upwards so that we can eventually avoid hills. Oh, I think it's here. Here it's got a little bubble. Okay. Let's go up more and then sort of come straight down at it. Okay, yeah, coming straight down on it. You sure TT doesn't have any more? I mean... I guess this is TT, right? I mean, Ragnarok is RR. This is TT. Very gradually coasting sideways here. Okay, let's go to retrograde now. We are clearly in the zone. Okay, just hold. A little bit far from the actual TT thing, but we visited the landmark and we still have 989 meters per second. We could probably do more with this, but I'll just leave it be for now. Since I don't have any contracts with it. Oh, we have to hold for 30 seconds, apparently. Oh, did I not hold for 30 seconds on the previous landing? I must not have. Okay, I never completed the contract. Okay, well, anyway, we can end flight and save flight. We might want to turn to it to time warp or something later on. With this ridiculous rocket, we've gotten 200 tech points. 220 altogether, actually. And we might as well unlock some stuff. Cargo bays, parachutes, heat shield coating. I wanted the special shapes. Pinch and slant. Let's get some of that stuff. Gas generator 2, I was surprised I hadn't gotten already. And there's this apex engine. Hmm. Okay. Eco nozzle. No, echo nozzle. No, it's not economical. It's. <laughs> um, sure, why not? Okay, so we got those. And let's take a look at the contracts. I think we've done enough interesting things for one episode. We'll, we'll probably refresh it next time and see what we get. Alright, so that was our little adventure on TT and our first use of the new map UI. So with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.